My name is Michael Altfield. I am originally from the United States and I'm 34 years old. I came to Terra Frutis because I'm currently traveling around the country in Ecuador. I'm uh, on bicycle visiting all the different vegan communities that I can find, different sustainable communities. Um, yeah, and Terra Frutis, I learned about, uh, first I stayed at another community not far from here, also in the Amazon jungle, a uh, vegan community from Workaway. So I was on Workaway and woofing and looking for different communities and I learned about Terra Frutis through word of mouth. It's been really nice. Uh, you know, when I first arrived, it was a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot of people here. Uh, took a bit to learn their names, but within a few days, I already felt right at home. People are uh, just so nice and supportive, and you have a lot of autonomy in what you do. Um, I was able to participate in the consensus-oriented decision making, uh, which which was very welcoming, and yeah, really like it here. I think the community. The community is my favorite thing about being at Terra Frutis. Uh, the people here are just so beautiful, very nice, um, beautiful souls, uh, and that's that's really what I'm seeking. Uh, I mean, being in nature, certainly we have a lot of land here. We're in the Amazon jungle. It's beautiful. The insects are incredible, um, but the people is is really why I came here, and I was not let down. Well, certainly we are a vegan community, uh, so veganism is very important. So if you love veganism, if you love being in a supportive environment uh, around other people who, compare, uh, who, who care about living in a compassionate world, uh, a sustainable world, then you would be a great fit at Terra Frutis. Uh, if you like fruit, then you're going to love it here. We grow a lot of fruit. Um, and yeah, if you like being immersed in nature, um, here in the jungle, it's it's a really beautiful experience. There's there there's a road. There are some cars that come through here, um, but it's not like being in a city where you're hearing honking and and cars and smelling pollution. It is very nice, uh, natural environment. My average day so. Fortunately, we have a great amount of autonomy, so I don't typically have an average day. Um, but before I started kind of taking initiative and doing my own projects, uh, I would do the group work. So once a day from 8 a.m. until noon, uh, you have a four hour shift in the morning where people will go down and they'll do the maintenance on the fruit trees and the different, different tasks. It could be filling bags with sawdust for our composting humanure toilets. Um, so, yeah, typically I'm going down uh, with a machete and chopping intentionally planted biomass plants, uh, polycultures that are designed to support the fruit trees. So we chop and drop, ch cut, cut them down, don't kill them, they, they regrow. Uh, but then we place that biomass in a circle around the base of different fruit trees uh, that, that feeds the fruit trees. And yeah, that's usually a really good time. You're doing it with friends. Um, you do it in the morning before it gets too hot. This is the Amazon. and. Um, that's really fun, but it only takes four hours a day, Monday through Friday, so that means you have plenty of time for leisure or other work. I know a lot of people, after the group work in the morning, do different spiritual practices. Um, personally, I really like to cook, so I'm making, uh, we have a really nice community kitchen here. We have four sinks, uh, um, so I'm able to make lots of delicious foods. We have a dehydrator, that's always been fun to play with, um, and also, uh, I also contribute to several open source projects. So I'm able to go back to my bungalow or into our co-working space and um, help, help uh, different various communities um, in my own time. I would definitely come back to Terra Frutis. Um, I plan on being here, uh, I plan on being in Ecuador long-term and I'm looking forward to being part of the community long-term. Yeah.